guys, it's Stacy with Miss Scotty Road Trips, and tonight's road trip is going to be a little bit different than what y'all are used to. Uh, as many of you know, recently I spent the night at Patty's house. I thought that was a. Must have been a car. As many of you know, though, I spent the night at Patty's house recently, and. Um, had a slumber party with her and Beth and when I started looking at that footage that we had filmed I really got interested in Beth and what's going on with her and so kind of just had my interest peaked and I decided that maybe I could find a haunted doll too well on the way home from Patty's I stopped at a couple of different places that I thought would maybe have something haunted like antique shops and things. The first one I went to was total let down. The guy looked at me like I was crazy. He must have been the biggest skeptic in the world because it took everything in him not to laugh at me as he was like, no, we don't carry things like that here. So I politely said thank you and I left. The second store that I went to they were really helpful, and the gentleman that was working there had told me that he knew of an item that the owner believed it is haunted. What they do is they set up, they have one big store and they set up booths inside, and these people can rent the booths and then sell whatever they have within that little booth inside the store so they pay rent out a percentage of what they sell <clears throat> but um he had told me there was a woman that rented a booth from him and that she had a doll that she was wanting to get rid of he told me that the doll was very pricey and he originally quoted me a hundred dollars on it and i thought yeah, i can't see paying a hundred dollars for a doll that may or may not be haunted so he also told me that basically he felt like that the woman was asking that much because she didn't want the doll to fall into the wrong hands so i told him i said well just speak to her find out what you can about the doll and i left him my number a few days later i get a call from the woman who owns the doll and she had told me that the doll was haunted. She said she picked it up at a garage sale and she brought it into her house and she did not know anything about it being haunted when she bought it. It was um, something that she just, because she goes to garage sales all the time to find good deals to try to sell in the booth that she rents and she said she saw this doll and she was actually going to get it for her granddaughter. But she noticed that what she told me is she put the doll inside the closet in this bag and that she, like not the same night she brought it home, I don't think, but maybe a night or two after that, she said she heard these strange noises coming from her bedroom closet. And she got up and looked but she couldn't see where anything anywhere in the closet had been messed with. She said about a week later, she'd still been hearing these noises, but every time she looked, she never saw anything. But a way, about a week or two later, she went in there again because the noises were getting loud. She found the bag that the doll had been wrapped up in on the floor of her closet. And instead of the doll laying down on its side like she had had it so it wouldn't fall and get broke, she ended up, when she opened the door, she said it was standing up. And she said she had put a higher price on it because she didn't want a child to buy it. She didn't want anybody to get a hold of this doll that didn't have some kind of experience with the paranormal she did not know if it was anything good or anything bad attached to it. And she said that after the day with the closet, I'm trying to remember it all, but after the day she saw it standing up in the closet, 
She said it freaked her out so bad that that's when she decided to put it into the booth to get rid of it just in case because she did not want her granddaughter to have anything that could be attached to. So she ended up marking the doll way down for me. Once she found out I was into paranormal, she, um, I think, my age has a lot to do with it too because she knew I wasn't going to be playing around and doing anything crazy with this doll and she had you know been honest about the doll so she marked the price way down and I ended up buying the doll let me I think she's pretty she definitely has a different look about her this is her and I do I think she's cute. She looks like, I don't know how old she is. I don't know. Let me see her little boots. It looks like everything's here with her. She's got her little flowers up here. But I have not, I had not even got her out of the car since I picked her up at the post office because I ended up buying her from the woman over the phone and she shipped her to me and um, I left her in the car until tonight when I was doing my video. My dog's barking at something. Hmm. That's kind of weird. It never barks anything out here. I don't know. But, um, yeah, I didn't bring her into my house. I left her in the car just in case. I don't want to take any chances. I want to be safe. And um, so I figured tonight maybe we could do a video here on my back porch and just see if we can find out anything about her. I have no idea what her name may be. I don't know where she's came from. Um, did a lot of candle. I also am burning sage. I have, let me show y'all. Uh, I've got my candle going out here. I've got my sage going. It's blue sage, courtesy of Jamie sent me my sage, so I am burning that. I also have my rim pod set up near the doll. And then I have my spirit box over here so that we can use that and see if we end up making contact or anything. So I think the first thing I want to do is just end up, my dog's barking and I don't know, that kind of makes me weird, feeling he just never barks like that. But I do think um, the first thing I want to do is maybe do EVPs and see if, you know, we capture anything. attached to this doll and would like to speak to us you can do so through this little device you can speak to us we will hear you I just want to know if there's anyone here with us
Can you tell me your name? Are you possibly attached to this doll? Did this doll belong to you at one time? How old are you? When did you die? I don't How many of you are out here? My dog is barking. Can my dog see you? How you died? Oh, I wanted to do it. Be worried about the beautiful doll. I will take care of her, I promise. But I'm sure I'll be checking back in with you. Can you tell me your name one more time? Thank you. Goodbye. All right, I'm going to have to go back through those EVPs and see if we found out anything that might help us um, learn more about her. I did notice that she has a tag on her, and she's from a collection called the Boyd's Collection, which I think is part of the Boyd's Bears. And on the back, it's got a little number right there, 4730. 
So I went online and I looked it up to see if I could find her, but this doll, they don't even show the picture of her online. Now, I have not seen anything out of her so far. I haven't seen her move. I haven't seen her, you know, do anything weird in any way. Her eyes are not made to close. In fact, she kind of looks like she's just staring. But, um, her arms, they don't really, they don't really move too easy. You kind of have to force them. So, I thought she was pretty. I was expecting when I heard about it to, um, get some really creepy looking doll, but when I saw her, I was kind of surprised because I do think she's a pretty doll. Um, but there is, I don't know if it's because the woman told me the story before I saw her. I don't get negative vibes, per se, but I don't get don't know how to describe it. There is something about me that's kind of standoffish because I don't, I don't know. But I'm thinking that could just be because I did hear the story before, you know, I was ever laid eyes on it. Didn't look like I went in there and picked her up and said, oh, I love this doll. And then they told me. So it could have been different if that was the case. But it was kind of like, yeah, just send her to me and I'll look at her and I was pleasantly surprised because I was expecting like, you know, a doll with half her hair and the other half cut off and her eyes doing all kinds of who knows what, but I do think she's pretty, but I'm not going to bring her into my house. I'm going to leave her sitting outside on my patio because if there is something negative attached to her, I don't want it in my house. I try to take a lot of precautions in my house doing this kind of stuff, so... Um, don't want nothing bad, but you will probably see her in a few more videos. I do want to try to take my time with her when I get the chance and to be able to investigate with her. And I don't know, I even mentioned to Patty, I told Patty that I'd gotten her and I even mentioned to Patty maybe getting her and Beth together. That's still something we've got to decide on because... Beth didn't seem to like Omar's doll, so I don't know if she's going to like mine either, but I hope so. I hope there's no hard problems. It still freaks me out that I'm talking about dolls like these, but because I never would have thought in a million years, but like I said, after watching that video where we slept with Patty, you know, the first time I ended up doing a video with Beth, she fell over and I couldn't, I didn't know what had caused her to fall over, but I thought maybe she just fell, just perfect timing, she just fell. And even when we did the video of her and I sleeping with Beth, there was times I couldn't really say if it was paranormal because I didn't know if like some of our movements may have caused her to move. But after seeing her head turn and look at me twice, gave me a little bit more of a sincere feeling that there's something going on there. So now I'm just, I'm really curious, like I said before, it's, who's attached to them? Why? Are they kids that love these dolls so much that they wish they could have took them into the afterlife with them? Or is it something more sinister that is trying to fool people into thinking it's something innocent? So... With both these dolls, Patty and I both have to play it really, you know, smart. We have to make sure that we're level-headed the entire time when we're dealing with them. And that's one of the reasons why I decided to leave her outside. 
because I don't want to bring her inside and then something negative to get inside my house. So, but anyway, I don't know what her name is. I'm hoping that maybe I found out something in the EVPs. Of course, by now, you probably know because by the time you're seeing this, I will already have marked what the EVPs said. So, but anyway, I hope you will like the investigation of my doll and um, I know it's a quick short little video but I wanted to share and let y'all know what's going on and I'm just gonna film here and there as we on and I'm just gonna film here and there as we go this why I just heard something this why I just heard something Is there anybody out here with us? Are you trying to talk to me? Can you tell me your name? Are you attached to this doll? I don't know, that was weird guys. I'm gonna have to go back and listen to that. That sounded like voices to me and then some, some kind of weird noise. I'm going to go ahead and conclude this video, but I hope you enjoyed it. Um, let me know what you think about the doll. Let me know if you'd like to see further investigations with her to see if she is haunted or if she's just a doll. I don't know, but we will see according to her previous We will see according to her previous owner. She was much more than a doll, but even then, she didn't say a whole whole lot had happened just that um oh she did find her I told you about her being <coughs> my dog just scared me she, she, she probably scared all of y'all too he did Roscoe wow the lady I got her from had told me about her being in Roscoe getting out of the bag so to speak and the bag being on the floor and then she was instead of laying like this on the closet she was standing up in the closet which freaked this lady out and um, But she did say too that she came home one day and the doll was laying in the middle of her bed and it had been up in the closet and she was kind of she wasn't sure what to think she asked her husband if he did it he told her no but she said you know it could have been him and he was just trying to paint me I don't know I'm sorry about the doll guys so she wasn't sure whether he had pranked her or if the doll moved to the bed too but 
I'm curious to find out. So let me know if you want to find out too. I'm going to go ahead and end this now. But um, thank you for being here. I hope you enjoyed it. If so, please make sure you hit that like button. If you haven't yet, please subscribe. There's a lot of different videos on here for you to watch. Hopefully you'll like them all. And I hope to see you on the next road trip. Alright, much love guys. Bye. Bye-bye.